Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin and as per usual I forgot to load the game before starting the video so we are going to be in the loading screen for a while here hopefully not a long while though this time so I hope I won't have to speak as much or read as much this time because my throat will get Got, got really dry in the end of the last one, so... Yeah. I should have really loaded the game before starting the recording. This is... I have to remember next time. This is just getting ridiculous. Yeah. So, um... How y'all doing? Um, that's cool, so, okay, finally, so, we came here to investigate the thingy-magic, so, let's go there now, Ooh, we could talk to him. Yeah, no. Let's not do that. Let's go here and investigate the murderer. Stop right there. Until you've received the captain's permission to enter, this door doesn't exist. Got it? I've spoken to Aureus. Let me inside, please. Not exactly the friendliest boat, the captain, is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is, the wa is a waltz through the fi town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy! Okay. So that just happened as lightning struck us. Okay. By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? Well, what are you doing here? The way the stars, very stars, come to die. Who are you and where have you come from? We are the. We are so. Actually, we can barter with him. <laughs> That's random. Um, we are the source hunter. We are source hunters from the realm of Rivellon. Are you indeed? Then let me tell you, hunters of the source, that you have strayed far, far from home, far in space and far in time. How I wonder. All we did was approach a strange stone. It shone a blinding light that whirled us away. A stone, you say? Could it be? Could I have been right all along? This stone, what was it? Was it bright and beauteous as diamond, but did it glow softly deep down in its heart, as if a soul dwelt within? I'd say that's a fairly accurate description. Star stone, it must be. For centuries it slept, this bounty of heavens, but now it is waking and it has brought its awakeness here. All was dark and all was still, as it was always has been and always would be, or so I thought, so I feared. But then the runes around me began to shimmer, shine, and dance like fair-winged fairies roused from slumber. Starstone, could it be the key after all, and you its wielder? Things of light to unlock things of darkness, lead us into realms forbidden where salvation may yet be found. Yeah, it would be great if you'd start making sense right about now. Oh, I have been making sense all along, my friends, though I didn't even see it. See? See? This is what you must do. Approach the looking lens and behold, if you dare, the darkness before which even the cosmic shadows flee in terror. No, I think that imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look at the looking lens. Yeah. I'm going to first loot all this. Can we take a picture? Well now, I didn't exactly imagine that we could take a pillow with us, so let's, is there anything else to loot over here? Oh there is, aha! 
Oh, that's nothing. But what are these? Violence. Okay, whatever. Let's let's save them. That's certain. Oh, that certainly is something. You look through that looking glass. You saw terrifying, isn't it? So much to see, so much to discover, and so little time to do it in. I'm not a child imp, the dark doesn't scare me. Actually, let's say, I know a bad omen when I see one, and that one takes the cake. Oh, well, that it was only a la cake that it took. No tea time would be the same, but at least tea time would still come around. This more of darkness, it consumes time itself. Yes, stars don't start up. You have just witnessed the END OF ALL! Oh! The maelstorm that, like a carrion eater, is devouring the carcass of creation. Space time have lost all meaning, for they are falling prey to the void, and in the void there is no existence. Bleak prospect indeed, and yet you do not seem to despair. I did despair, for the longest time I did. Aeons upon aeons I have traveled through the reaches of time, through the rifts that lead to worlds unimaginable, hoping to find something, anything that could stop, put a stop to the maelstrom. This, that is how I found this place, and I knew that it was here that the answer must be hidden. It teems with myster mystery and di undiscovered, with power that is limitless, yet out of reach, until you came along, the ones who can tame Starstone. You have drowned my despair. You, whom I believe can de end the end of time. End the end of time. Okay. What should we say? I think it's time you tell us who you are, sir. Imp. But of course, I'm zigzags. Zigzags. Zigzag. Zigzags. Zigzags. Zigzag. Zigzag. Zigzags. Zigzags. The imp historian, tasked by the gods to write the history of all creation. Faithfully, I have fulfilled my task, and I would have and would have done so perpetually until one day I saw that time will end. Impossible, I thought. Inconceivable, for the gods had told me that their work, that their work was infinite both in date and in distance. But my eyes did not deceive me when the maelstorm I beheld. Time would end. All would. I would end. All would end. No, I cried, never. I shall save time if, it is, if it's the last thing I do. So far my efforts have been in vain, but you, as the saying goes, are the last hope that springs eternal. Star stones, the end of time, us source hunters, how about you connect the dots for me? To claim I can piece the puzzle together would, at this stage, be premature and insincere. But let me summarize the facts as clearly as I can see them. This is going to... Just... Awful, I'm going to have to talk throughout this episode for quite a while. Here we are in a fragmented sliver, sliver of space, which happens to be the only spot in all the universe where, un where one may directly observe the ma void maelstorm. The portal flanks the looking lens, uh, but until now it was inert. The rune stones that adorn it are special, which lead me to believe that they are, were somehow linked to Starstone. Starstone, though, always remained as useless as, pebble, as a pebble. Dead rock of no consequence. Its secrets remained off limits to me. You, however, make the souls inside the Starstone spring to life, and thereby are you, are you activating portals to new, previously forbidden areas in this strange dimension. I do not know where they lead, but I am convinced that they will steer towards a solution. The, con the continuance of time. How did you get here? And what is here? Ah, well. You see, on one of my travels I found a runestone hidden in at the deep demonic de dungeons that hide from daylight far beneath the surface of horror-haunted nemesis, a plane of frightful perversions. I read the rune and it brought me here, this sad little realm that is no more than a morsel of at the edge of all of, of the, at the edge of the all-consuming abyss, 
ever since it has been the place where I have found shelter, home even. Though it shares its dominion with that terror of terrors that is the void. So there you have it, the homestead on the shelter plane at the end of time. Welcome be my friend, welcome be. I'll take my leave. Splendid idea, later we can talk till the cows come home, but right now we should investigate the portal. Where or where does it lead I wonder. Well then, let's go. Homestead Hall. Where in the world are we? We are not on the world at all. Sneaky. More looting. I've tried every imaginable tongue, from dwarf wig to lizardies, but this woman simply won't budge. Maybe she just doesn't like the look of a refined impish face like mine. Perhaps you'll have better luck, but please do report back with what you find, Sauce Hunter. Okay. But first, more looting. A chest. I am the last chest, the last chest, the last chest. If you do, if you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my ample treasures, I do dare you to prove it. Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world. And each by each, you'll discover how to open me. Okay. Actually, I. I need to check one little thing about Frederick here. Does she ha does he have leadership? Who is leader? Who has leadership? Does she have leadership? Oh, I do have leadership, but where, I wonder? Oh, the righteous trait gives me one leadership. That's awfully useful, because it gives my allies a buff. Initiative plus 5 and damage plus 10%. That's... Wow, that's really useful. Let's talk to the Weaver of Time. A young woman is ceaselessly weaving a seemingly boundless, boundless tapestry with the de delicate grace of a harpist plucking at her instrument's strings. She takes no notice of anything but her endless occupation. Who are you, madam? At first it seems that this taster, 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 taster woman will continue to ignore your presence. But then she suddenly glances at you and her eyes go wide with surprise and wonder. Her lips move ever so slightly, and when she speaks her voice appears to reach you from an untold distance. Whispers wrestled, wrestled from oblivion. I am God. And we can bother with him as well. And... Okay. Um, time, the weaver of time. In the ethereal threads of eternity do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions. The drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imper imperceptible perceptible touch of lovers' hands. This and all I chronicle without fail, fault, except it seems you. 
Do you mean to tell me that I am not at all featured on the canvas of time? 